you been a Christian boy, you don't get discipline. Yeah, my name's Andy Hawthorne. I head up the Message Trust in Manchester. And uh, we started up 20 years ago and we've been building something. We now have about 80 full-time staff, a few hundred volunteers. Uh, for the first 18 years of our life, we were focused on Manchester, working uh, on the margins, particularly with the toughest young people to reach. And now our work is spreading all over the country. And uh, we're at an exciting and scary season of growth. Yeah, well, I mean, it's an absolute tragedy that men don't want anything to do with the church, that we run, you know, it's often airy fairy churches that men wouldn't, you know, would rather do anything than go to when Jesus was a man's man. Jesus was surrounded by his mates. The first thing he did when he embarked on his ministry was get a bunch of mates and they weren't, uh, you know, slightly effeminate, boring guys. They were tough, rough, working class guys and he, he geared them up to change the world. You know, that's sorted man, sorted's mandate. It's not just sorted's mandate, it's the church's mandate. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited and uh, I think it's absolutely correct. Especially, I love the fact that Sorted isn't just uh, thinking it wants to be in the Christian bookshop, so at the back of churches. It really, Sorted wants to be in WH Smith's and on the high street and in the local news agent. And that'll be really exciting when it sits alongside Zoo Magazine or Nuts, you know, because that's where we've got to be. We've got to be right in there, salt and light, and a little bit of salt, salt and, le salt and yeast, rather. We've got to be salt and yeast great thing about salt and yeast is a little bit can make a massive difference. A little bit of salt in the stew or a little bit of yeast in the dough can make a huge difference. You know, you think, what's one magazine when there's all this stuff being thrown at you, but a bit of gospel witness, prayed up, uh, really somebody giving it everything they've got can make a huge difference. That's what we're finding on these estates, of course, in Manchester. A few people living the right kind of life opposite to the culture can change a whole community.